Well, I'm Kenny Lowry and welcome to boulderfountain.com. Today we're going to take a look at what's called the blue ripple jar fountain. Now we have a smooth uh, surface up here and then it hits these ripple lines right here. It causes almost like rain, it comes off of there kind of like rain. That's the best way to describe it because it's what it's doing is breaking up the stream and it's causing individual droplets. So uh, that is the reason we're calling it the ripple and it is kind of a rain to look. It has a different sound than a lot of the jars. You have the sound that's up here, which is uh, all the jars have, but down here there's a little bit of different sound because it's it kind of sounds like rain, and I'll see if you can pick that up here. So there's two distinct sounds there. Uh, it's a beautiful jar. The colors on it are really beautiful. Uh, different in the way that the ripples come off of there. It is attractive all the way around, and I'll get with the camera and show you here close. Uh, you're definitely going to want to up like this, and the plume light. Um, you know, the jars that, that, are, that are lit up there actually stand out a lot more during the day than they do it at night. I know my, my jar fountain I have at the front of my home. When you ride by there during the day, you see it, but it doesn't jump out at you. But when you drive by my home at night, you can't ride by that or without your eye going to that fountain. It's just, uh, uh, it just is kind of mesmerizing at night, and there's no way that you can miss it. So right now, I'll grab the camera, take a close-up look. Now, keep in mind when you set this up, you're going to want to get this perfectly level because you want the water to kind of, since it is kind of splashing, um, you want to be able to catch all that splash. So make sure that on your end you can turn the pump down, uh, things like that. You could upgrade to a 4x4 four four basin too. We'll have that option on the website. Uh, I know if I were probably put it in my house, I would. I don't want to cut the pump back, so I'm probably going to put it on a 4x4 four four basin. But if you're okay with turning the pump back, maybe the plume would be about half that size then uh, you can you can certainly put it on a three by three basin but uh, so keep that in mind when you're ordering right now we'll get up close there you can kind of see that colors there it's a really dark navy blue and then it kind of goes a light and we'll kind of go around here to the back as well and i think you can kind of see that water the way it's coming off of there too if you like what we're doing here make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like a quote on something with shipping quotes and uh, lighting accessories, everything on that quote, uh, you can send us your ship to address along with the item you're interested in. We'll get back uh, in touch with you uh, with a quote for you. And if you have any questions about any of our products, just reach us at our contact information on the website.